Hello, I'm Elizabeth. Today we're going to be looking at mass generation of PDF reports from an Excel document. This is really cool. Great example. If you have sales folks that you need to present weekly metrics on and you typically go through and print out a PDF report or a separate Excel document for each individual person, you don't have to do that anymore. We're going to create a quick macro that will allow us to print out any number of reports you want on any cadence you want and put them into the folder of your choosing. Let's head on over to the spreadsheet. Okay, now that we're back on the spreadsheet, let's look at how this data is set up. So there's a report right here through columns G to Q. Using this drop down menu, we can select any different region and then you can go to file print and print out the report but we want to do this all at once we want all of these different regions to generate reports all in one time because say you have say you don't only have a few regions say you have a hundred different regions or a hundred different sales folks you want to do this all at once on a monthly cadence we want to just press a button and have those all generated we don't want to go through and select each of them and go to print them out. So let's uh, go through how to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a list of all of these. So I'm just going to go over to my sales data. I'm going to go equals unique. This is optional. You can do this any way you want, but I'm just going to grab all the different regions I have and grab them all. And I'm going to create a new tab and I'm going to paste We're gonna name this sales region. And like I almost always do, I'm gonna make this a table. Control T, my table has headers, select OK. And on the top here, I'm gonna put a count formula. I'm gonna put a count A. So what count A does, it's going to count the numbers of cells that are not empty. And I'll show you why we do this. We do this so we can have a stop to our loop formula in our macro. So we're going to count A and I'm going to select the entire table column here. And why I specifically do that is because if I add another region to this table later, what's going to happen is it's going to automatically grab that as well. And you don't have to have any messy formulas going all the way down the sheet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a plus two. The reason I'm doing this is I'm asking what is the last row that there's a value in. And since we have two rows that don't have actual region data in it, I just put plus two. So we should return a value of 10 and we do. I'm going to name this tab PDF list. Perfect. Now let's go on back to our sheet. So the first macro, we're gonna create two separate macros and then combine them. The first one we're gonna do is we're gonna create our macro that copies this right here, copies this value, pastes it in here. So that's all it's gonna do. And then it's gonna keep on going down the list, copying this value, pasting it right here. So we can, we're gonna create most of this macro using the um, the record macro steps button and then we're just going to change out a few values before starting this we want to make sure you have access to the developer tab this tab right on up here if you do not see the developer tab you want to go to file you want to go to options and you want to go to customize ribbon and select the developer tab it should be right here and select ok and then the developer tab will pop up. Okay, we're gonna create a new macro. So we're gonna go to record macro. We're gonna name this macro select region. You can't have any spaces in your macro name, so I use an underscore there. Press OK. Now the first step we're gonna do, and we want the macro to follow, is we want to go to the PDF list page. So you gotta click here so it picks up that step. I want it to go to cell A3, and we're actually gonna change this around a little bit. I'm gonna right click, press copy, because I want it to copy that cell value. Then I wanna to go to the weekly KPI sheet, click there. I wanna click inside this box, right click, and press paste value. It happens to be the same one, but that's okay. So that's what I want this macro to do. So I'm not gonna click anywhere else, I'm gonna to go to stop recording. Now I'm gonna open up this macro. So I'm gonna to go to the developer tab, click macros. I can see my macro right here and I wanna press edit. This is just the macro steps 
uh, that I've created. So we're gonna do a few different things to here. We are going to first, we're gonna make a new variable in here. Um, it's pretty easy to make a new variable. We are making a dimension. We're gonna call it row count. And we gotta tell what type of variable it is as integer. And then we're going to make one more dim row count end as integer. Oops, see I put sim instead of dim as integer. And now we're gonna tell it row count. We're gonna equal that to three because our row count starts on our PDF list our row count starts at three. That's where we want to start that. Now for our row count end, row count end, I want it to equal sheet PDF list dot range of value A1 dot value. What this does is it's gonna say that this equals whatever is in cell A1. So that's gonna equal 10 to start off. And we want to follow this right here. So this is gonna be the bulk of our, of our script, but we wanna run this in a loop. So we're gonna use the do until function. So do until row count is greater than row and so we want to do we want to run this in a loop until this number down here which we're going to add one every single time we loop it is greater than 10 and then it's going to stop i'm going to highlight all this and just move it over and at the very end here i want to put loop so it knows to loop it until this condition is met and we got a few more things to do in here. So let's let's walk through this. So this is going to go to our PDF list sheet. Perfect. It's gonna select range A3. Well, that'll work for the first one, but it won't work for the second one. So we're gonna change this to a different, different format. I want it to select cells, open it up. I want it to select the row count up here, comma, and I'm gonna put one because the column number, it's gonna always stay in column one. So I'm gonna just select the row count. So that's gonna be three and one, perfect. And then it's gonna copy that selection. It's gonna go, it's gonna paste it in C5. This should all be fine. Now we're gonna add an extra step down here. Before the loop hits again, I want to add one to this. So I'm gonna say row count equals row count plus one. So every single time this goes, it's gonna add. Okay, as you can see, I put sheet instead of sheets with an S here, so let's fix that. You can see all of the numbers run through. Perfect, so that is performing as we want it. Let me close that out. And now we're gonna make one more macro. This macro this time is just going to print this sheet up here. So what I'm the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the area I want to be printed. I'm gonna go, go to page layout, select print area and press set print area. Now, before I go into the macro, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the destination where I want all of these PDFs to end up. So if I go into the file location and I control C, and I go into, I'm gonna put it in cell A1. I've got this actually merged up here. And I put the entire address of where I want this to end up. But we're gonna add one more part. We're gonna create a concat formula and we're gonna add a file name to the end of this that's gonna dynamically change based off of what the region is. So equals concat. You gotta put the whole thing in quotations. And we're gonna put a backslash here, close, comma. And our next one is going to be, we want this, I want this to be the name of the file. So it's gonna say the region sales revenue by month and the month name, close it off. So now this is gonna be my entire file name up here. 
I'm gonna make this bigger so you can see the entire file name. Perfect. We're gonna go back and open up our macro editor. And I'm gonna create a full new macro here. So we're just gonna do that by typing sub space. We're gonna name this print PDF, open and close parentheses. And as you can see, that created a new spot for our macro. And we're gonna create a dimension. We're gonna create dim save as, as string. And we're gonna set save as equal to sheets open and we're going to name it we want to set it equal to the value in cell a1 on the weekly kpi sheet so we're going to grab weekly kpi sheet close dot dot range a1 dot value pull the value in that sheet now we're going to write a we're going to write a portion of this formula to enable the saving to a pdf to the file name that we asked for so active sheet dot export as fixed format type colon equals xl type pdf i'm going to put a comma file name colon equals save as comma colon quality colon equals one comma underscore and go to the next line include doc properties colon equals false ignore print areas colon equals false I do want it to pick up print areas. Open after publish. Colon equals false. Okay. I'll fix some stuff in here. Make sure you put a space uh, from your comma to your dash here. And let's test this out. So I'm gonna highlight everything, press play. And since it didn't open, I'm gonna have to go to the file location, check out the files there. And if I do that, if I look at my file location, I see my file. I'm gonna open it up to check and make sure that that was the file I was looking for. And perfect, that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna close that off close that out and there's one final step so now we're gonna just run this select region macro up here but what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna input this subscript to run in the middle of this so right before the loop I'm gonna put call print PDF so what that's gonna do is it's going to run all of this, then it's going to run this individually every single time it loops. So let's close the editor out and let's test this out. So I'm gonna click on macros and I'm gonna click on select region. I'm gonna click run. Now, as you can see, all of them are being selected. And let me go to our, my file location. And as you can see, it looks like all of the PDFs were put here. So I'm gonna open one up. Perfect, Canada sales revenue by month, March. Fabulous. One more step to make this a little bit easier. I'm gonna add a button so that we can just select or your end user can just select a button to print out these every single month. So under the insert tab, I'm gonna insert a shape. I'm gonna, I like this one right here. 
and I like to make the shape effect preset like that so it kind of looks like a button. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna edit text, I'm gonna call this print all regions. Just gonna format, change the look of this a little bit and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click I'm gonna click assign macro and I'm gonna assign it the select regions macro, select okay. So now what happens is when I click this button, it'll run the macro for me. So I don't have to go to the developer tab and click inside the macro and press run. All I have to do is click on this button and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please follow along and subscribe for more.